Sheila, could you just tell us, how does makeup, when you put it on, how does it make you feel? When I put on makeup, I just feel like a new person. I feel beautiful. I feel like I could do anything that I need. I could just, people just don't matter to me when I have it on. I just feel like I'm not me. Okay, what about social media? Tell me a little bit about social media. Do you post pictures on social media of the makeup looks that you wear and? and... Yes, I post social media pictures, but when I don't get at least 100 likes and I just flat out delete the picture because it's just not worth it. Okay. Oh, oh. wow, Not a, you I didn't get 100 a likes, so the, stuff there. really? So you're seeking validation. For every like, it validates that you're beautiful. Is that what you're telling yes. me? And yeah, then if you don't get the like, you feel like you've been rejected. Yes. The fact is you're struggling with a lot of different things and I hear that you're maybe struggling with a little bit of self-esteem, maybe there are some yeah. other mental health symptoms that you've had, tell us about that. I struggle with mental health. I've been diagnosed with bipolar disorder, mm -hmm. OCD and anxiety, and I struggle with self-esteem issues and I've been bullied for my weight, but I recently just got weight loss surgery and I lost 50 pounds since February. Oh, Good! Okay. Oh, that's great, Sheila. These other symptoms been going on. They've been going on since fifth grade. I was bullied yeah. by my mm. peers a lot due to my weight. Mm. Yeah, did you share that with your mother? Did, yeah. you, did your mother know? Yeah, she has. It got it got so bad. I remember fifth grade. They called me and they said, um, you know, your daughter drank hand sanitizer. Oh. What? Oh, yeah. Well, she, but mom, has you got? She wanted to hurt herself. Have you gotten help? Yes. Yes. Yeah, she goes to therapy. Okay. I go to therapy with her. Oh. Good. And she also sees a psychiatrist. Okay, I'm not surprised to hear some of these impulsive behaviors, the compulsive shopping, because that does go along with what we know about bipolar disorder for some people who suffer from it. And it kind of feels like, though, that you're just sort of piling a bunch of other problems on top. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like you just keep putting that makeup on and, and you're not getting to the underlying issues. I just want the help that I can get because I know that it hurts my mom. It's just really hard for me just to come over all these problems. Do me a favor, I want you to look at her and tell her how this is making you feel, you know? What this is, you it's, know how the... It's, it's just tearing me up inside. It, it is, tears me up inside because I want you to be something someday. Mm. You know, I don't want you to look trashy or look like a clown because sometimes she puts on so much makeup, she looks like a, um, a, drag, that. a drag queen. You know, you don't need all that makeup. You're beautiful. Yes, she is. You are yeah. so beautiful. <laughs> and when I tell her this, when I tell her this, when her father tells her this, she just doesn't believe us. Yeah. She's like, you're just telling me that because I'm your daughter. Right. No, I'm telling you that because it's true. Yeah. You're beautiful. You're a beautiful oh. girl. Yeah. Yeah, Sheila, how does it feel to hear your mom plead to you like that? It just feels wonderful because I never knew that she would love me like that. I love you with all my heart. There's, I would die for you. I know. Are you kidding me? I'd die for I you. I know, but there's like no, I feel no love here. I love you so much. I she always love you, no matter what. I love but you, but you got to stop doing this because you're going, you're going to put us in so much debt. I'm not going to be able to dig out of it. Sorry. Oh, you got to stop, oh. baby. You got to stop. I love you so much. You got to stop. Yeah. So mm. well, I'm falling in love with y'all. Y'all about to make me cry my last. Okay. Yeah.